Welcome to What's New at AWS. Now Amazon ACS can publish emails sending events to EventBridge. Prior to this, we had four options as destination type. EventBridge is the new one. This enables the selection of various targets and seamless integration with multiple AWS services. And we can build many complex workflows with minimal setup and operational overhead. Let's quickly check this feature in action. Before I start the demo, let me quickly share what we are going to build in this demo. So we'll use simple email service to send emails and we'll publish email sending events to event destinations. In our case, we'll use event bridge, the new one. And in event bridge, based on your use case, you can define different different rules such as opened, bounced and forward those events to target like queue. For this demo, I'm not going to configure multiple rules and multiple queue because the concept is same. So I'll configure one rule which will listen to all email sending events and send those events to queue. In the queue, we'll pull those messages and see what we are getting there. Let's jump into AWS console. Open simple email service console. Under configuration, there is configuration sets. Click new level. It says introducing Amazon event bridge destination. Click configuration sets, create set, provide configuration set name. Click create set, click event destinations, add destination. Here you will find all the available event types. Let's select all, click next. And these four were there from previously. Amazon event bridge is the new one. Select that one, provide destination name make sure this is enabled otherwise it will not publish selected event to the destination all the events will be published to default event bridge event bus tick next quickly review add destination so all these email sending events will be published to destination amazon event bridge let's open it and it will be published in the default event bus Let's click rules, create new rule, provide rule name, click next. For event source, choose the first one. For email, you'll find all these sample events. If you choose one, you can see how it looks. Scroll down, choose creation method, use pattern form. For AWS service, search simple email service. For event type, you can choose any specific event type that you are interested in. For this demo, I am going to select all events. Click next. Here under AWS services, you will find lots of AWS services available for integration. For this demo, I am selecting SQS. I have already created this queue in advance. Select that queue. Click next. Click next. Quickly review all these details and this rule is going to watch all the event bridge event and send the magic event to this target email events test queue. Under identities, I have already created two email ID which are already verified. I'll use this email ID to send email to awsjunkie at outlook.com using configuration sets and we should expect email in our email box and ACS will send that email sending event based on this configuration to event bridge default event bus and this particular rule is going to send that event to our queue email events test queue in ACS console select the sender email id click send test email choose custom recipient provide email id subject line body and finally configuration set that we have created eb test config so all the rules that we have defined in configuration set will be applied to this email click send test email let's check email box and we can see one email but let's not open it right now go back to queues check queues click send and receive messages all four messages and we can see we have received two events click the first one 
it says email sent next one it says email delivered now let's go back to mailbox open that email let's open it in new window go back to queue and we can see two more messages email opened and next one is also email opened and here you can see the user agent in my case it's a safari in mac os and i can see the ip address which is matching with my vpn address now if i go back to mailbox and if i uh, report this as spam that event will also be captured there but i am not going to do that because this is my domain hope you can understand how many cool features we can build just by capturing these events just for example in this case let's say you need to send mandatory email to user but user has marked your email id as spam so obviously he will not get that email but you know that these many users or these users already marked your email id as spam so they will not get this mandatory message but you have to send this message so in that case you may reach out through different mode of communication maybe text or automated call so you can build all those workflow very easily without any operational overhead that's it for today's update thanks for watching i will see you in the next one until then happily float on the cloud